Hi Virgo, this is your bonus May tarot reading. We'll have three separate spreads in this uh, bonus reading. In the first spread, we'll look at what you urgently need to know right now. And it could be about pretty much anything, whatever comes out. Then in the second spread, we'll look at the advice, either in regards to the first spread or uh, an advice in general for the next couple of weeks. And then the third spread, we'll look at the next good thing that'll happen to you in the near future. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. All right, Virgo, so here's the urgent message that you need to know right now. We have uh, the Seven of Pentacles, clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. We have uh, the Hangman. We have the Eight of Swords, clarified by the Four of Swords. And we have the Nine of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You've got something you're going to be waiting for, anticipating, and that's going to stress the heck out of you. Okay, it could be the other way around, somebody's waiting for you, but for most of you, I think that's you who is waiting. Right, so speaking of waiting, the Queen of Pentacles all the way to your left, I find the Seven of Pentacles, that's you, Virgo, I think we can all agree on that. And the Seven of Pentacles is a card of waiting, okay? And um, like I said, for most of you, that's you waiting for something or someone, some kind of a decision for someone to make up their mind, somebody to choose between you and another person, because it doesn't have to be about uh, love. Right? It could be about anything, work, what have you. The Nine of Swords on the bottom of the deck, I think that's you really stressed out, really nervous about it. This whole waiting, this whole anticipation, this whole suspense is keeping you up at night. You're nervous, stressed out, you can't even sleep at night. Right, uh, The hangman right next to the Seven of Pentacles where the candle is, is a card of stagnation, nothing happening, so that's what's killing you. Right? Because uh, you're, you need to know what's up, you need to know the answer, you need to know the, what the decision is. The Eight of Swords right next to the deck clarified by the Four of Swords, same thing. Very similar to the Nine of Swords and the Hangman energy. The Four of Swords, see, that card is even similar to the Nine of Swords on we, we have on the bottom of the deck, right? And the Eight of Swords, this is you stuck, trapped. Uh, perhaps some of you are literally stuck and trapped, can't proceed, can't move forward until uh, this takes place. Um, or you're just constantly overthinking. You're, you're probably, yeah, you're overthinking. You're, you don't know what's going on. And that's why it's all, it's taking a toll on you. Alright, so that's what's either coming up for you or this is what's uh, already happening to you, uh, Virgo. Alright, so let's take a look at the advice spread real quick. Here's the second spread. Virgo, this is the advice uh, for the situation we saw in the first spread. We have the three of ones, clarified by the two of ones. We have the full, the two of cups, clarified by the four of ones. And we have the ace of swords on the bottom of the deck. I think it's going to be all right. I think it's almost there. Whatever you're waiting for is almost there. The Ace of Swords uh, on the bottom of the deck is the decision, okay? The Ace of Swords often comes through as the word yes. It's a card of a... It's a very decisive card. It's a card of a new beginning. It could be like a, a ruling or a judgment or again a selection or somebody making a decision. Right? The Three of Wands, the first card I came out is clarified by the Two of Wands. So this is where uh, that hesitation comes in, right? We have the two and the three of ones. The two of ones is a card of somebody who is in the process of making a decision, in the process of uh, choosing, okay? And the three of ones is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision, and this decision is final. <laughs> the full right there, um, it's it could be you who is now liberated, right? The full could be a card of liberation. Right, uh, the fool could also be a card of a new beginning. The fool could be a card of trying something new, something they haven't tried in the past. The fool could be a card of taking a risk, taking a leap of faith. And uh, at the end, we have um, the two of cups, clarified by the four of wands. So yes, you will have what you're waiting for. The two of cups could be about love, right? In this case, this is a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of unconditional love. It's a card of when two people. CITY. If this is not about love, then the Two of Cups is my hand shake card. So this is obviously you and uh, another entity, uh, another company, another person shaking hands, citing paperwork, agreements, things like that. The Four of Wands clarifying it could be a card of a commitment, <laughs> marriage, right? Or again, this is something stable. Right, with the Four of Wands. Um, and the Four of Wands could also be a card of a celebration. So yes, I don't know what you're worried about. It could be love, what have you, but it's going to be all right. So sit tight. It's almost there. <laughs> all right, Virgo. So let, let's move on. Spread number three is the next good thing that will happen to you in the near future. 
Here's the third spread. Virgo, this is the next good thing that'll happen to you. That'll at least put a smile on your face. We have the eight, uh, Page of Wands, clarified by the Eight of Wands. We have uh, the Queen of Pentacles. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune, clarified by the Hermit. And we have Justice on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Libra or perhaps even another Virgo or uh, a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I think this is a repeat of what we saw in the previous spread. Because, yeah, we have you in the spread twice, right? The Queen of Pentacles and the Hermit, both of those two cards, I believe, represent you. You're in your own reading twice. <laughs> and here comes the communication, a message, a letter, or something, right? With that page of ones clarified by the eight of ones. Both of them could be, both of those two cards could be messaging, communication cards, trans electronic or wire transfer cards, right? Justice on the bottom of the deck makes total sense, right? Remember in the, in the previous spread we had the Ace of Swords, right? If you take a closer look at the Justice card right there, uh, in one of the hands they're holding up scales and in the other hand they're holding up a sword. So that's exactly the sword we saw in the previous spread, right? So ultimately Justice is holding up that Ace of Swords. This is that decision, right? Which is going to go in your favor. Um, the decision to hire you, the decision to give you something, to reward you with something, to give you something back, I don't know. <laughs> it all depends on your particular situation. All right, justice could be the legal system in terms of, you know, when people get married, right? Uh, so when people do get married, they sign a piece of paper, and then that piece of paper is submitted with the local government. <laughs> Uh, it could be a government organization. Doesn't have to be where um, you know the organization accepting marriage certificates or something like that. Most importantly, um, right next to the Queen of Pentacles, the last card I came out is the Wheel of Fortune, which is clarified by you, the Hermit. The Wheel of Fortune could be a Sagittarius, gentlemen, but the Wheel of Fortune is a card of going somewhere or moving forward. It's the start of a cycle, a very fortunate new cycle. So now that you have received it, whatever you were waiting for, now you can proceed, now you can start this, now you can move forward. And again, the Hermit here represents you. You're here twice, Virgo. So it's all going to be all right. <laughs> okay? So yeah, um, that's what I have for you, uh, Virgo, for this uh, reading, for this time period. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Virgo, have an amazing the rest of the month.